This is very interesting. Oh, we, we can zoom in more. That's cool. The camera angle's a little bit weird, but you can kind of get some, like, cool action shots. Oh, that's cool. Hello everyone, Time to Grinds here, and today I wanted to try out Insurmountable. It's a rock climbing, like exploring, mountaineering roguelite that seems super, super interesting. So I wanted to try it out and give my first impressions to you guys. And a uh, small disclaimer, I was given a free copy of the game at my request, um, but you know, never let that influence my video. So we're gonna just jump into this uh, new game. So I do not, I have no clue like how to play this game, what, what is in store for us. Uh, so you're gonna be on the ride like us so we choose our mountaineer Ooh, this is interesting adventurer as a dyed in the wool adventurer you're always on the lookout for the next big challenge so they can sprint uh do a tent i uh, have some gloves oh this is this is interesting canned food um or a scientist as an ambitious scientist you walk the fine line between genius and insanity um so we got um more camera distance i guess analyzing thing we do have a tent the hiking staff and gloves. This is interesting. Or journalist. As an investigative journalist, you travel the world to expose major scandals. Single-minded. This is like a spell. Ignore negative weather and terrain effects for a little bit. Fur gloves. Climb out. Okay, this seems a little confusing. Hot tea. Um, you know what? Let, let's just do the adventurer. I think that's a good start here. Um, so we're going to... Sprint, where we reduce time cost, additional body of temperature uh, gain while moving. That seems pretty good. Tent, the climbing gloves, and the canned food. Okay, so the adventurer. You've dived down into the briny, briny depths of the oceans in search of lost treasure, researched long extinct cultures in the deepest rainforests, and unearthed ancient runes in endless deserts. No adventurer uh, was ever big enough for you, and nothing ever got in your way. Now a new challenge awaits you. A remote island, long concealed behind a blanket of fog, a mountain range of which there is no record, and peaks that tower into the heavens just waiting to be scaled. This is the stuff of of adventurers dreams and your chance to get your name in the history books so okay so it looks like these are kind of the ascension levels here um, obviously we're gonna be doing normal because we that's what we have um, standard difficulty challenging but doable confirm difficulty um, your choice cannot be changed yeah that, that sounds good to me oh there's different mountains that's awesome scale the first summit but remember you won't have best of the mountain until you are safely back at base camp until then the mountain owns you Ooh, wow, they, this seems to already have a lot of content. And there's different routes, too? So this is Firm Snow, um, provides better grip on this route, but Eerie Surroundings. This has unusual phenomena and cold nights. Uh, firm Snow and Severe Storm. Okay, let's do the Firm Snow and Eerie Surroundings. That seems the easiest, plus we get a little bit of interesting seeing what the Eerie Surroundings are. Okay. This is... This is already exciting me a lot. First summit, as you stand at the base of the mountain looking up at the summit, you sense that adventure awaits. The island is shrouded in mystery. Why couldn't it be found on a map for all these years? Are the rumors about a group of unknown occupiers true? And who are the people that live here? As much as you would like to know, your most burning desire is to be the first to scale the summit. I like all this cool stuff. You're just like, I gotta get to the top. I don't care about anything else. That's why you're here risking your life. So camera control, hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the camera. Scroll with the mouse wheel to change the camera distance. Okay, wait, hold the mouse button. Okay, that's easy. Scroll with the mouse wheel to change. Okay, camera distance. Path control, click with the left mouse button on a valid tile to add a marker to which the character should move. Um, okay, that's, that's easy enough. With a right click, you remove your last marker set or the entire path if only one was set. Uh, some train energy and time costs for moving climb depend on the equipment and skill of your character. Oh, that's stone terrain. Uh, danger, that's unpredictable things could happen. Snowy terrain, energy and time costs for moving climbing depend on the equipment and skills. Obviously more of that. This is very interesting. You got danger, unpredictable things, ice terrain. It's harder, obviously. Additional body temperature loss. Okay, so and then snow does more cost because it's harder. Okay, okay, that's fair. Events. There are various types of events that can occur on the mountain. If you step on a field with such a marker, an event gets triggered. Um, so you have your health, you got your energy. 
um, which that is used when climbing. Steep passages cost more energy. You got your sanity decreases slowly but steadily as a result of the mental stress that comes with the climb. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You got your oxygen. It's constantly lost in the death zones high up in the mountain. Body temperature is used at night and in cold, snowy, stormy weather. And then we have an XP bar. Okay. This is, I mean, it's a lengthy tutorial, but I do think it's giving us everything we need to know. Um, when a stat other than health reaches zero, your status is critical. You can see in the path preview when you will definitely hit the critical status. If you continue to climb in this condition, you will face dangerous critical events. Careful if your health reaches zero, it's over. Uh, once you level up, um, you can choose between multiple skills with each level. The skill windows provide a comprehensive list. Okay, easy enough. There's normal weather, energy cost of climbing increased, body temperature increased, energy cost increased. And then there's events. Obviously, careful when time passes an event, you might gain or lose stats like body temperature based on the conditions. Oh, when time passes in an event... Does that mean like we have limited time to select them? Uh, sleep, sleeping is a good way to restore energy. While you're not moving, you can sleep at any time by clicking on the sleep button. But sleeping without a tent can severely lower your body temperature, especially in cold weather. Sometimes you can find a good place to sleep like in a cave though. So that's how we do it. Okay, there we go. So, ooh, this is, this is some high quality stuff here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and climb here. I think that's ultimately where we want to go. Because I think that, does that mean that it's an event? I don't know. Also, we, I, I can only rotate the camera. I can't move it. Oh, also, wait, did you not? I don't know why he, I thought he was going. I guess he wasn't. And so these are our abilities down here. So there's our sprint. A cave. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. However, you notice a strong smell. Um, Yeah, let's follow the smell. You go deeper into the cave. After a few feet, you come across a small water hole. A thin ray of light falls through, an opening in the solid rock ceiling and reflects off the water's surface, creating an intricate light pattern that mesmerizes you. So we return to the cave entrance. Does that is that experience? Oh, plus 0 .1, 1 .1 sanity. Okay, so we want sanity. That's cool. We kind of had max, though. Um, do we sleep? I mean, what is our energy at? I mean, is there a penalty to sleep? We're in a cave, so no tent is needed. Briefly, just gives me a little bit of energy. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know. That was probably not the play. Because um, I don't think we want it to go nighttime, but whatever. Um, so we level up here. So steep climber. Uh, we get an active ability, reduce energy cost on all terrain. Oh, and they last for a couple hours. That's interesting. How long is an hour? I don't know how long that actually ends up being. Um, strong at climbing fast, direct routes to the summit, strong at using terrain to your advantage. Whenever you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain some experience, reduced energy cost on all terrain. Oh, on all terrain, strong energy efficiency on flat terrain allows to explore the mountain. Exploring the mountain for too long threatens your sanity. Um, let's just get Matt steep climber, honestly. So there's our skills. What is, do, how do we look at our skills? I don't know. Okay, either way, um, that seems like interesting something. So let's, I don't know, do we use these? Time cost, body temperature, energy cost. Okay, I think we save though. Oh, that's a steep climb. Would it be better to go, oh, okay. Yeah, I could have maybe routed it out. This is interesting. Oh, there's... Oh, so you can see the basic values. There is firm snow. You discover an intact tent. There is nobody in sight, but the embers in the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. It can contain valuable items. So we lose sanity. You know what? No, you know what? I know, like, I'm going to say no. I'm not, I'm going to say no, because that would be the mean thing to do. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to play this pretty realistically. You know what I mean? Um, so we're trying to go up. We're just trying to find our way up here. So I think we just kind of, you know what? Let, let's just go straight like this. I mean, honestly, we're going to just be exploring. There is like some chests and stuff we could find, but I think we just try to start scaling it here. So we're going to actually use our master climber, use that now and just start moving. I think that's a good play because we're going to be spending a lot of energy climbing here. 
Oh, they, that's how you see the traits. Okay, this is this is very interesting. Oh, we we can zoom in more. That's cool. The camera angle's a little bit weird, but you can kind of get some like cool action shots. Oh, that's cool. Honestly, it's kind of peaceful to to like watch this. Like, just have a non-combat roguelite. Like, I really, really like the concept. And I don't know if it's a roguelite or a roguelite. I'll I'll have to see the the progression. Um, I don't know. I guess we just yeah make our way up here, right? Okay, so that's the cooldown. So that was twenty four, and now we're at about twenty one minutes. I don't know if that forty five means like remaining time. Oh, that's the time active. Oh, so it's still being been useful for us. That's awesome. Shrine. There's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost meditative. You watch it a while and regain our sanity or our energy. Probably our energy. So that wasn't even where we needed to go. Where did we need to go? This is like actually like a whole like exploring thing. So we need to actually like make our way all the way back down, I think, right? Um I mean like so what happens if I click that? It'll just tell me that's the path. That's the quickest path. I mean, I guess, yeah, right? Unless we see anything else. Toggles the speed in which the player moves. Only flavor has no effects on time. Yeah, let's let we, we can we can fast forward it a little bit here. Um. Oh, it's oh it's it's nightfall. Oh oh, our energy. I didn't. We might not actually like have the energy to do that. There's our temperature. Okay, we'll we'll watch this. We're just climbing all through the night? Man, that's uh It's pretty metal, honestly. Not gonna lie. Let's see if we're missing out on anything. Oh, there was like a treasure over there. I probably could have checked for. Actually, oh okay, here we go. You know what? You know what? No, no, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I want what is that over there? Oh, we have to Oh. To get to both of those, we have to first uh, make our way here. You know what? You know what? Um, I think I think we try to sleep, right? I mean, unless is that a good place? I don't know how to tell if it's good. Tent durability. Um, yeah, we obviously want to use it. Um, let's sleep long here. So it should be daytime. Um... Because we have the body, okay, because we have the tent, we'll gain some body. Okay, there we go. I think that's the play. Let's sleep through the night. I think that is the play. Oh, no. It, that is, that is, a, that is a snowstorm. Okay. Um, so it's stormy, plus 20% energy cost on all terrain, firm snow. Yikes. Okay, it actually makes it, like, hard to see, too. Dang. That's that's interesting. Um, okay. Yeah, let's let's make our way here. It's a little bit harder to see. I still know I kind of somewhat want to be up there. I do like that like you can click the you know, I'll fast forward a little bit here if that's all we're doing. Um, I do like that Oh wait, there's some stuff over here too. Or is that stuff we missed out on? No, no, no. We could go get that. Yeah, let's go see what's up. How do we how do we cancel this again? Oh, there we go. Just yeah. Go. Oh yeah. Let's just go over here and start exploring what this is. Oh yeah, and sleeping I guess like makes our uh, stuff better. Um, plus two body temperature when moving. Is our body te our body temperature surprisingly? I mean it's cold weather, but I don't know. We're not really losing our body temperature. So okay, let's see. Oh, the, oh, is this dangerous? Or is that a random event? That was ice. Okay. So we had a chance of something. Runes. Nearby the camp, there are some vacuum flasks filled with tea. You could take the time to search the tents. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's thoroughly search it. Unfortunately, you find nothing useful. Uh-oh. 
And now it's nighttime. Um, yeah, we can climb a little bit through the night. Let's climb really high things in the night. That seems like a good idea. I can't imagine doing this in real life. That seems like it could be pretty good. Shrine, an old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She just living, she wears a friendly toothless smile and motions you to sit with her to re recharge your strength. You do as she suggests and okay, could regain health, which you don't need or warmth. I mean, I guess get a little bit of warmth probably, right? Um let's let's just let's take a quick nap, I guess. Just a quick nap. Um 24 energy. I don't know though. No, 40 energy is probably what we need. Gets us to daytime. Cuz I don't know like if does using a tent briefly um does using a tent briefly like get only use up half the durability or, you know, because if it uses the same amount of durability, might as well, like, you know. Like, might as well do the long sleep. We probably want to use Master Climber right now. Uh, deer Stand. You climb up on a crooked, rickety deer stand built by hunters to serve, survey the terrain and shelter from the elements. A pile of soft furs on the floor look awfully inviting. You consider taking a rest. A gutted deer hangs from the ceiling. The meat is fresh and juicy. Your mouth starts to water. Um, I stopped. I'm not going to eat the meat because it might be someone's, but I'm going to stop to rest. Your limbs feel heavy and you struggle to... To keep your eyes open, why fight your exhaustion? You feel safe and secure here. Before long, you're embraced by velvety darkness. You don't know how long you were asleep, but you now feel invigorated and bolder than ever before. So we get some energy. Oh, nice. We leveled up here. Um, are these rares? I don't know how to tell. Specialized. Oh, these are specifically for specialized in moving in steep terrain. And these are neutral skills. Okay. Reduce time cost on all terrain. That seems to be like a passive. The time cost isn't necessarily the problem here. Prevent critical interruption events. That seems good. Gain more body temperature per hour when moving. I, our body temperature is fine. Let's prevent critical interruption events. That's pretty good. So it's an active. So anytime we think something spooky might happen, um, you know, but we know what to do here. Okay, we'll, we'll go check out this. It's interesting, like, I, we, I really feel like, oh my gosh, like, I can click up there. Oh, no, it's it's not going to let me do that. <laughs> I was trying to be cheeky and be like, oh, you tell me the entire path there. I'm glad it doesn't do that. Like, you do, I genuinely feel like I'm exploring these mountains. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, I didn't even, oh, I should have done Master Climber. That was, like, the entire point of what I was going to do. You know, it's not, it's not worth it. There's a lot of stuff over here. I maybe should have got that thing first. Goat herd. That is, I, this is a menacing picture. I don't know why. As you reach a plateau, plateau, whatever, you spot an indigenous man. He is relaxing and enjoying a meal with his, well, his goats frolic around him. When he notices you, he beckons you over. We approach him. The goat herd smiles at you and gives you some of his equipment. You are speechless. Oh, we got an item. An oxygen mask. Plus 0.5 oxygen per hour when moving. Plus 0.5 oxygen per hour when resting in, a, in events. What What does the oxygen do for us? What? It, oh, that's that. Oh, so we could go high up now. I mean, I guess. It's pretty cool. Oh, we have canned food. I forgot about that. Um, Let's take a short rest. I think we take a short, oh, but I don't want to use that tent. You know what? No. You know what? We're, we're climbing through the night. We're going to master climber here. We got to climb through the night and we're going to, I, I, I made a, actually, you know what? No, no, no. Uh, no, that's like a rare. We got to do it. I should have gotten to that first and then come down here and got the two, but it is what it is. But yeah, I can see, like, I know we got, oh, look at those lights. I don't know. This this is a this is a cool little game here. Saddlebag. You discover a large leather saddlebag lying on the ground. Right next to it, you discover faded hoof prints. You find an intact tent in the saddlebag. We got an entire tent. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. So it's just uses. 
Give me the tent. That is awesome, actually. That is so good. Um, let's go down. Oh, oh, what? On the edge. We're, we're actually, stop it. Stop it. What is this, ice? Okay, we're going to... I'm assuming that's what an interruption event is. I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah, I think we're just going to... Maybe we go to sleep here. We probably uh, do like a long nap. Unknown fruit. You discover some wild berries on a bush. They are bright in color. Orange almost. You hesitate. They could be poisonous, yet a little sustenance would do you a world of good. I don't think you're supposed to do that. You're not supposed to... I'm going to try one of the berries. The berries taste exotic and re-energize uh, re you. You're just about to reach into a bush for more when you stop. Your stomach tells you you've had enough. There we go. There we go. I knew not to eat a lot, so that did help us a little bit. Um, I knew to be careful. I'm glad that paid off. We lost a little bit of sanity. That's okay. That was definitely worth it. So now, honestly, I don't feel the need to um, to stop. I think we just work through the night here. Let's get these two things here. Then we get this treasure chest. Get this. I'm, I'm definitely feeling, feeling good stopping at things. Bear cub. Oh, you peer into a dark cave in the rock face. You are met with an overpowering stench of death and decay. In the back of the cave, you can just make out the bulky shape of something enormous, probably an animal carcass. As you turn to leave, you hear a faint whimper. You venture into the mouth of the cave where you discover a bear cub looking up at you with terrified eyes. Oh, is this a trap? Let, let's help the cub. You crouch down and extend a hand towards the animal. It approaches you cautiously, then nuzzles your palm. You scratch it behind the ears for a few minutes until its panicked breath steadies. You slowly stand to leave the cave. It breaks your heart, but there's nothing more you can do. Oh, Oh, was that its mom? I just realized that was probably its mom. Dang. Well, I mean, that was definitely the, the thing to do there. Um, reduced energy cost on all terrain. Gain more experience in events during the night. Oh, specialized in night climbing. Climbing. I like how it has like pros and cons of why you should pick things. Um, though night owl seems really. I I gotta go night owl. Honestly, I like that. I just like the concept of that, and we're doing things at night literally right now. So. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Let's follow, follow the light. You follow the light as you approach. You realize that it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. Get a bunch of experience. I like that you're just, like, experiencing things. Like, that's what you're just going to do when you're doing a mountain. You're, this is a whole experience. Um, let's lie down and sleep. Uh, we're in the cave anyways, so we can take 18. Yeah, we, we only need a short little sleep here. Our body temperature is getting a little bit low. Um, but I see no reason we probably want to walk around during the daytime, you know, not nighttime. Um, okay. Let's, I don't know. I hate to have to wrap back around, but I want to yeah wrap around here. Um, 30, you know, okay. Let's sprint actually. I need to be using that. Okay. We're going to sprint. Go, 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 go. I can't even tell if it makes my guy go any faster. Probably like like look faster. I definitely think time lapsing is, is the way to go. I can't even imagine watching it. Like it was cool and like cinematic at first. Like actually, like like let's see here. Like we go like, oh camera. Like I don't know. There's something cool about that. Like that you can just the camera's a little wonky to to follow the action a ton. Container. You come across a coagulated. Metal shipping container covered in rust. Maybe the occupiers used it as a storage facility. Search every nook and cranny. You find a few provisions tucked away in a dark corner. We got an item and some XP. What is this? Hot tea. Increase our body temperature. Single use. That's good. It's pretty good. Ooh. Oh, th this is where those events were. Okay. Well, obviously we'll go there. We'll hit up those events. It might actually be... N oh, wait. Let's... Okay. It... Yeah, the path. So I like that if I press that, it tells me like how much energy, how much of all the resources we're actually using on that path. That's pretty cool. That is pretty freaking cool. Oh, it's nighttime. It's nighttime, which we are a uh, 
Night Owl. Oh, yeah, because the other two things we took gave me actives, but this actually gave us a passive. That's cool. Okay, what's happening here? Shrine, steps have been honed into, this, uh, honed into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts. Some types of religious site or shrine, maybe. You're not a particular spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you pray to the shrine for health or energy. I mean, we don't need health. And we got 35 energy. Dang, okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. Let's go see what's down here. And honestly, because we're night exploring, um, let's let's go ahead and use Master Climber. Well, I guess we'll do it after this. A cave, you enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. However, you notice a strong smell. Fall of smell. Um, you're unable to find anything except some tufts of fur and bone. Okay. Well, we got some experience. That's cool. Um, let's lie down and sleep here. Um, just because it's free, I do think that we should. I'm only going to do a sh brief uh, sh sleep. I just can't talk. Um, just because I do want some nighttime left. Um, I don't know. what Do I have to... If I'm going here, what's that path look like? Um... Yeah, I guess we well, I might as well. Oh, oh. Okay, I got a couple things to do here. Might as well do on the edge. Reduce the energy cost. So we'll make our way here. I want to go get that that rare thing over there. That's like a spe that's a special looking token right there. I'm having to go out of my way for this. Yeah, there's like so many little nooks and crannies in this. Cave, you enter a cave. It's dry, sheltered. Um, I don't need to. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't, that's just too much time, honestly. Okay. Um, I wish we could use our on the edge. I didn't realize how long of a thing that is. So we're having to pass up like one, two, two, three dangerous things. This is, this is a hard little thing here. It is clear though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, I guess we'll get that on the way back. I didn't see that thing. Uh oh, rough stone. You hear a couple of loose stones falling, rolling down the mountain. One of them hits you in the torso. Okay, we lost a little bit of health. I don't think that's that bad. That's not that bad. But yeah, I guess that's that's why you got to be careful. Our sanity is kind of going down too. Melody, you lean back against a rock face. A distant melody reaches your ear, soft and tender and beautiful. You close your eyes for a moment, breathing deeply and evenly. Uh, you keep listening. The music seems to be coming from the inside of the mountain. Could it be yet another legacy of the occupiers? Or maybe its origins are more mysterious. Whatever it is, it makes me smile. There we go. Give me that sanity. Give me that level up. That's what I needed. That was awesome. Uh, lose less body temperature during the night. Um... Yeah, let's do that. That goes with the night climber build we're doing. That's cool. There's actual like builds and stuff. That's pretty cool. This is this is a cool little game. Not gonna lie. Cave. You enter a cave, it's dry and sheltered from the wind. Okay, <laughs> all these caves here. Um follow the light. It's uh, a weathered black of block of stone encompassed by a strange light. When you touch it, energy flows into your body. Feel it invigorated. Sleep is not the last thing on your mind. Oh my gosh. That just kind of like brings us to max of like everything. That's a little insane. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. This is a very, very tall climb. That This is actually using so much energy. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. 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 What if I... Like, go here, and then here. Okay, so yeah, I need to actually, like, plan these things. That's that's what I've learned here. Like, doing that, now... Yeah, I, why, like, why would I just scale that thing? Like, why would I think that was a good idea? Okay, well, there's actual, like, exploration, so it's not just, like, click and, you know, wait for your stuff to happen. Um, you can probably go here, right? It's a pretty decent place. And then we can hit up that... We're slowly making our way up on the mountain. I love this. Oh, there's another thing over there. We're just going to hit up all these things right now. A cave. Um, there's a faint shimmer of light. Follow the light, sure. 
You realize it's coming from the fireflies. Okay, we're starting to get some of the um, repeating things. Lie down. Let's do a short nap. Hey, that'll get us to nighttime, and we're a night climber here. That's actually perfect. That is actually perfect. Okay. Actually, let's 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 use sprint here. Cause I want time to last. Or nighttime to last, I mean. I want to just hit up all these things. Icefall, your breath is taken away. Towering in front of you on the slope are bizarrely shaped masses of ice and snow and several tents not far away. Who set up camp here? You call out, but no one answers. Um, approach the camp, approach the slope, or the first tent. Um, let's check the camp. You slowly approach the camp. The ice crunches beneath your boots. Every step could be your last. You close your eyes. Finally, you reach your goal. The camp has been abandoned with not a soul in sight. They surely left long ago. You rummage through the things and left behind and find some equipment. At least your efforts weren't in vain. So we lost a lot of body temperature, but gained sanity. And uh, we got an item. What is this? Warm cap. Plus 0.5 body temperature per hour when moving. Okay, yeah. That is that is a better hat for us. We don't need the oxygen right now. Oxygen is fine. Um... Cause yeah, that's obviously that type of thing. Um, like what, what, like what is that? I don't, okay. Yeah. So we level up. Ooh, one with the stars, reduce energy cost of climbing during the night. Let's do night climbing build. That's, that's the, that's the build there apparently. So we're going to hit up this actually probably, probably hit up that like that. So we'll probably hit up these ones and then uh, probably call it. Um, and, uh, save this for a part two, because, uh, this is, this is like a whole freaking thing. I think we got to make it all the way up there. Now that I see, I can tell that that's actually coming in from like one part. I don't, there's something so relaxing about this. Honestly, another cave. Um, no, nope, I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to. I don't want to sleep. I want to make use of the leftover time. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to be able to get to this before it becomes daytime. This night climbing build of ours is actually so freaking cool. Okay, a shrine. A golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it, and it watches you too, unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped up in this moment, you regain... Warmth or sanity definitely is warmth is what we need. Okay, so I think that we'll we'll hit this up and then and then we'll call it. So whatever whatever this event ends up being, this is gonna be a, the, the the best way to end it. Encounters, you walk past a massive crevice, you hear faint cries for help. Looking into the depths, you identify an unfortunate mountaineer at the bottom. Yeah, we gotta try to save him. I claim down to save him. After a few feet, the ledge you're climbing along breaks off. You fall a short way before regaining your footing. The cries of the mountaineer from below have been silenced. You have no other choice than to climb back up. I mean, we got a lot of experience, but we took some damage that was so much energy. Wow. That's crazy. We, like, we're just seeing, like, people die and stuff. I mean, that that's what happens. Like, Mount Everest and stuff like that. That's wild. So, um... Man, I I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this um, this let's play. I'm definitely going to be making a part two here in the next day or day and a half. Um, so definitely subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say, uh, to see that in the future. Um, and uh, you know, let me know how you guys enjoy this let's play. And if you want me to see it, you know, turn into a longer form thing or a review, or a review of some sort. Um, so definitely, like I said, subscribe, ring the bell uh, to get notified on those. Um, but either way, if you are going to be grinding finding out your own little mountain adventure in insurmountable, um, which is actually a pretty cool name too. <laughs> I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.